Hi there, I'm here on the North Queensland coastline to talk about the uh, relationship of coastline coastal evolution to global tectonics. Now, tectonics describes the, the way that the Earth is structured and the way it moves, its dynamic, dynamics. Um, and part and parcel of that is the idea of plate tectonics and continental drift. Now, how do coastlines relate to plate tectonic theory? Well, it's quite simple. With plate tectonics, there are a number of different boundaries to the different crustal plates around the Earth. Now, at some point, the boundary between plates is what we call constructive, and that's where plates are diverging away from one another and being built by the introduction of lava at the junction, volcanic lava, that builds the plates up. Now, as the plates become uh, built in this along the boundary, constructed, those plates move apart or diverge, and so uh, they, they, the, 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 the plates actually move away from one another, and any continents sat on top of those plates will move apart as well. Now, where a, uh, a rift um, along one of these boundaries occurs uh, within, a, within a continent, then that continent will be pulled apart. And we can see that happening today in East Africa uh, with the Great African Rift System. That's being pulled apart and the land is subsiding in the middle. And the Red Sea is a new sea that's opening up as part of that as well. So on that particular coastline, we have a uh, new coastline being created by the, by the divergence of crustal plates uh, where they're being constructed along the boundary. Now those particular types of coastline, very close to these constructed plate boundaries, are what we call trailing edge coastlines, because they're um, on the back end of continents moving away from a spreading centre, from a divergent boundary. Now when you're very close to a boundary, when it's fresh, we call that a neo-trailing edge, because it's very close, and it's, uh, uh, very close to the boundary. Um, once, uh, if that process has been going for a long time, and, you can, and the plates are moving away from this, the, sorry, the continents are moving away, the coasts are moving away from those plate boundaries, then they become more mature. And when they become more mature, we call them an afro-trailing edge, because it's a type of coastline that's very common around Africa. And once they're very far away from the, from the boundary, and they've been um, eroded, and lots of deposition going on, there may be deltas forming along the coastline, that's what we call an Amaro trailing edge coastline, such as along the eastern side of North America, which is a long way from the mid-Atlantic rift system, which has created those coastlines. Now here, at, in Australia, um, on the coast of Queensland, you can see that you've got mountains coming right down to the sea. And that's quite um, uh, characteristic of a neo-trailing edge coastline uh, that's close to the boundary, hasn't had much time to erode and so on. Um, and indeed, that's what we have here. We have a trailing edge coastline because just offshore, north, uh, just offshore Australia here, between here and New Zealand, we have a, a, a small rift system out there in the Tasman Sea, which is pulling Australia and New Zealand apart. So these are, in fact, trailing edge coastlines, or some people like to call them passive margin coastlines. Now, on the other side of a continent that's moving towards um, a another type of coastal boundary, which we call a destructive plate boundary where the, the crustal plates dive down into the uh, Earth's mantle uh, to be remelted and recycled. Um, we, the coastlines that are approaching those types of plate boundaries we call leading edge coasts because they are at the leading edge of the continent heading for the destructive, destructive boundary where they will be um, eventually, uh, uh, those plates will be destroyed but the continents will probably survive because they're quite buoyant. Now those leading edge coastlines again are quite mountainous so you, you might be thinking, into, um, thinking that this might be a leading edge coastline because the mountains can right, come right down to the sea. But it's not. It's a neo-trailing edge coastline, coastline with the, the rift uh, boundary, the divergent boundary, just offshore uh, between Australia and New Zealand.